A good teacher can leave a lasting impact on a student's life, and sometimes a student does the same for a teacher. We were recently invited to sit down with a former teacher and her student as they met at Electric Works, which turns out is what brought them together again decades later. This heartwarming reunion is positively for Wayne. Inside the halls of Electric Works, a reunion 60 years in the making. I hadn't seen him since the third grade. On the left is Hildegard Hofacker. On the right is Denver Sarver. Hildegard was Denver's third grade teacher. He had a tie on, my goodness. That well-dressed lad was in her class at South Calhoun Elementary School in 1959. Yeah, that's me, yeah. and I was in my young 30s. Neither knew at the time that their paths were destined to cross again many years later. In 2020, Hildegard, whose father retired from General Electric, was watching a documentary about GE's history and its transformation to electric works. To her surprise, a familiar name. The name Denver Sarver came on. I Denver Sarver. I had him in the third grade. You know, you don't meet a Denver Sarver very often. Denver also had worked for GE and was a featured face in the documentary. His former teacher knew then she wanted to track him down. I wanted to see how big he was and what his uh, vocation was and uh, what he's doing now. You know, it was just so sweet because she said, I just, I wish I could congratulate him on his success. Lisa Kern, pictured here, is Hildegard's niece. She was the one who found Denver through Facebook. She doesn't really understand much about social media. She's just in awe of the things that we can do today. I don't have any high tech at home. And so when I told her I found him, she, you know, she was like, I can't, I just can't believe it. After that, Hildegard and Denver got together for tea and then lunch. And finally, an afternoon spent at the place that brought them back together all these years later. Really great to reconnect. The two reminisced over yearbook photos and a newspaper clipping of their third grade class. He really pushed books. We, we needed to read and be studious. They were a very receptive class. They were good listeners. Then teacher and student, now friends. Just watching them together interact and, and share these memories was amazing. Through life, you'll meet people and kind of have an influence on you, and you kind of lose track, forget about them. Yes. But sooner or later, it seems like your paths will cross again, and kind of, it's great to reminisce what went on then and, and see where each, each other went through the years. And how you look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love them? <laughs> I mean, you can easily pick them out for those pictures, though. Oh, uh, what a wonderful, wonderful yeah. story. Oh, so special. And, I, you know, I was talking with Lisa, who, who we talked over the phone there, um, and we just talked about what a testament this is to good teachers, to know that, you know, Denver remembered her, she remembered Denver, and that they wanted to get back together after all these years. And it was like they picked up right where they left off. Right. <laughs> so and, sweet. And everyone has teachers, obviously, mm -hmm. but teachers have so many students right. year after year after year mm -hmm. to, to remember them yeah. as special. And uh, just her voice, you could tell right off the start of that story. Yeah the emotion in her voice, yeah. how happy she was and to of, see him. Of course, they're going to be meeting up again, you know, they, <laughs> so they've met up a few times now and, and they do plan to continue to get together with family and, and Denver's wife and, you know, it was just so special to, to see this relationship now grow 60 plus years later. And way Amazing. to go, niece, for making yes. that happen, awesome. bringing those two together. To see this and all of our Positively Fort Wayne stories again, just head to Wayne.com, hit that news tab and look for Positively Fort Wayne.